One of the most common ad manager mistakes I see amongst musicians who give me access to their ad accounts for help or what have you is the creation of more than one pixel. If you're anything like me, when you're setting up your ad account, especially from the beginning, you're testing and trying a whole bunch of stuff. You're creating a bunch of stuff that ultimately you're not gonna use. You don't know it at the time, but you come to discover later that, wow, okay, this was kind of pointless. I shouldn't have done that. You just make a lot of mistakes along the way. I mean, I made a ton of them. I have a lot of coverage about that on my channel here. One of the biggest mistakes I see is that people make more than one pixel for their ad account. So today we're gonna to take a look at how to get rid of all of those extra unwanted pixels so that you're left with just one, which is all you really need. Now, if you're new here, my name's Tom, and on this channel we talk about music marketing, branding, business, and a host of other stuff that's gonna help us move from making music as a hobby to making music as a business. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to delete old Facebook pixels from your ad account. Now, before we dig into it, let's answer this question. Is there ever an instance where you might need more than one pixel? The short answer, no, not really, but I'll dig into it a little bit. Let's talk about some cases where the argument could be made that you might wanna have an extra pixel. So let's say you're a musician and odds are, if you're watching this video, you are. Let's say you're a musician and one of your pixels is used to send traffic to Spotify, send traffic to your artist website, send traffic to your merch store as an artist, and all the things that have to do with you as a musician and artist trying to send traffic to various places that's all related. But let's also say you really like to cook and you have a website about cooking and you wanna send traffic to that website, but you wanna use the same ad manager. Well, in that case, you would wanna have a second pixel because you don't wanna combine those two audiences. You wanna silo those audiences out. So the people who are listening to your music, buying your merch, coming to your shows and all that, are not likely to be the same people who are trying to watch your cooking videos on YouTube, let's say. But going back to my original answer, do you need more than one pixel? No, because what you should do in that situation, the best practice is to simply create a second ad account inside of your business manager and have a new pixel there. Your artist business has one ad account for the business and your cooking business has its own ad account for that business. Inside of any ad manager, you really only need one pixel. So what is a pixel? Think of it like this. A pixel is a doorway that allows Facebook to open and enter into your website or landing page. It's what lets it be on the inside and see what's going on. And once it's in there, your events are what tell Facebook what to do and how to analyze the data it receives. Events like page views, views content, etc. All of that is transmitting information through that doorway, which is your pixel back to Facebook so that you can use it for retargeting or whatever else you want to do. So as a best practice, especially if you're a musician, an artist, and you're solely trying to build just yourself as an artist and a business, you really only need one pixel. So what do you do if you've already made more than one pixel like I have? In fact, I've made a bunch of them and I've had to delete them. Well, let's dig into Facebook Ad Manager and we will walk through the process of exactly how to delete your pixel. So here in the Ad Manager, the first place we're gonna go is to our Events Manager, just so you can see that I have multiple pixels in here. So my primary pixel that I use is the one titled Tom Dupree the Third's Pixel, obviously, right? But I also have this second pixel called Pixel One. And I use this pixel from time to time to talk about things for videos here on this channel, but it isn't an active pixel. I've only used it as a showcase for other things that I don't really need it for anymore. So I wanna delete this pixel. So from here, we're gonna go back up to the top three lines on the left. We're gonna go to business settings. And once we get to business settings, we're gonna go to data sources on the left. And then we're gonna select pixels. And from here, we have all of the pixels that are associated with this ad account. And you can see I have a second pixel here that is associated with this ad account as well. This is one that I've technically deleted. Now, as an aside, when we're talking about deleting your old Facebook pixels or unused Facebook pixels, technically you can't permanently delete them and remove them from everything forever. But what you can do is adjust the access to it so that you don't see it in your events manager as a selectable pixel, nor will you see it in your ad creation process. So you basically decouple it from your ad account, but it is still going to be available inside here. Now you can rename it in here, you can 
so, uh, put things like unused or do not touch or whatever. So that way, you know, it's been deleted, but it's going to stay in this window. So the good part of that is if you ever need to come back to it, you ever need to fix anything or find anything, it will be here. So this is as close to deleting it as we can get. So if we go back to pixel number one here, this is the one we want to delete. From here, we're going to go over to the right panel. We're going to go to connected assets at the top. And here you can see that connected to this pixel is my ad account, Tom Dupree the third. So to remove this from my ad account, I'm going to click delete. And it prompts me to say, remove Tom Dupree the third from pixel number one as a question. I'm going to click confirm. And there we go. Now, no assets are connected yet, and it prompts me to add an asset. Now, how do we prove this work? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the ad manager. So once we're back at the ads manager, I'm gonna go back up to the top here, and I'm gonna refresh the page. And once I've refreshed the page, I'm gonna go back to the events manager. And now that I'm in the events manager, you can see that the only pixel I now have access to is the single pixel that I wanna use, Tom Dupree the third's pixel. So this is a great way to clean up your ad account. If you have multiple pixels, step one, stop using all of them except for one. Make sure that all of your ads in your ad account are only using that one pixel. If you have ads running that you don't want to turn off and they're using one pixel and a different one's using another, you can whittle it down to two for now. But over time, you definitely want to get down to using just the one pixel per ad account. Once you have whittled it down to two, if that's where you need to start, or ideally one, go through each of the pixels that you have in your ad account and go through this exact process, removing your ad account from that pixel. That way you're only left with the one pixel and you will clean up your experience and make your life a whole lot easier. So that's it for this one. I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments. If you have additional thoughts, I'm happy to hear them there as well and would love to know what you have to say. Now, before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple videos you can check out about some stuff related to Facebook ads. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.